Good morning, Falcons. My name is Ethan Zhao. And my name is Adam Sue. Today is spooky October 31st, 2019. Happy Halloween, and thank you for tuning in to the scariest episode of the year. Saratoga Library's Teen Advisory Board will host a Day of the Dead themed coffee house tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. in the library's community room. Come out to perform or to enjoy the show. The cafeteria staff is looking for a few students to work during lunch. Please see Pam Carlino in the cafeteria if interested. A representative from Herf Jones will be on campus today and tomorrow during tutorial and lunch collecting your cap and gown orders outside, outside the main office. Trunk or treat is tonight in the SHS front parking lot from 5 to 7 p.m. Hey Ethan, you know what would make the week even spookier? Relaxing with a classic Halloween movie. You're in luck, Adam, because MAP is hosting their Halloween movie night this Saturday. Here's a quick promo. Wow, I'm really loving the spooky broadcast theme. Well, the spookiness hasn't ended yet. It's time for our scariest dog of the week. Wondering what those mason jars in your math classes, math classes are all about? UNICEF Club is hosting a fundraiser and the winner gets a pizza party. We sat with some reporters to learn more about it. So this year, instead of UNICEF Trick or Treat, we're having a GoFundMe and a fundraiser in school to not clash with the ASB's Trunk or Treat. So in school, we put jars in all of the math teachers' classrooms and then so people can drop their spare change and any cash they have into it. The fifth period math class will be raising money by putting like their change in the jars. And then uh, by November 1st, is uh, whichever class has the most money will get a pizza party. This was a spin-off of, of the Trick or Treat fundraiser that we had last year, where we raised um, almost $400. And, um, but it kind of conflicted with um, the Trunk or Treat for Mr. Torrance's um, leadership. So we changed it into a in-school fundraiser. And then we also have a GoFundMe page um, online that is in our link in our bio, and then also um, posted throughout the Saratoga Facebook chat. Our school has recently made more gender-neutral bathrooms available to students who need them. Until this year, students had to go all the way to the office to find one. Here's more. We have moved towards um, adding more gender-neutral bathrooms on campus um, due to an assembly bill that passed um, several years back that um, talks about um, not discriminating against students um, based on gender identity. Um, and so it's the right thing to do to be more inclusive on campus, to be able to give students the options um, to have a safe space, to be able to use the facilities on campus um, by offering gender neutral bathrooms. Um, although students can choose to use with it whatever facilities that they identify with, um, but giving them more options is the right thing to do. There are two uh, single stall bathrooms that are identified as gender neutral bathrooms. They're on the 800 wing, um, one down by the engineering room, and then if you come this direction more, it's the new bathroom that just opened up uh, in, this in the fall. So then we have another gender neutral bathroom in the main office. And the first couple gender neutral bathrooms we had were not in the best location because they were in the periphery of school. And now we have this particular gender neutral bathroom that's located right in the middle of campus. And so um, now that we have this general neutral bathroom, we're trying to identify uh, one more general neutral bathroom. Uh, the challenge we face is that uh, when you share a bathroom with students and staff, uh, there's potentially some problems that arise from uh, student use. Happy birthday today to Shi Yuan Ji and Jeanette Zhou. Well, that's all for now, Falcons. Stay safe and have a spooky Halloween. This has been Ethan Zhao.
and Adam Sue. Happy Halloween!